I'm Mike Manalo from the Nerds of Color. How are you? Hi, Mike. How are you? Uh, really good, thanks. It is it is a real honor to meet you. I've been a fan of yours since uh, Nikita and Mission Impossible 3. Awesome. When I saw you on the screen, Mission Impossible 3, I was like, who is that? <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I, I've, I've loved you and I've loved your career for the longest time. Thank so, you so thank so you much. for doing this. <laughs> That's really nice of you to say thank you. Um, one of the things that I love about this movie is that you are finally getting the spotlight just down <laughs> on you on the big screen. And with the exception of uh, you, the cast is mostly comprised of older men who are definitely yeah. known for their action roles. Yeah. Uh, yet you, a younger Asian woman, are not only the lead, but you are giving them the beatings of their careers. <laughs> um, do you think that that symbolizes in some ways the future of the action genre? Oh, um, I hope so. <laughs> I hope you're the prophecy. That'd be awesome. We're gonna I, have to replay this over and over when you're right. <laughs> I, I would love that. I, I think it's important for the underrepresented voices and faces in this industry to finally get the limelight. So I'm yeah. grateful for this and, and for your role in this movie. Thank you. Me too. And you know what? The guys were also, they were so supportive of that too. They were so, so supportive of me in my role and what I was doing and what I needed. It was, it was really great. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, one of the other things I love um, about this movie and your character is she's not only just an assassin, she's a Vietnamese assassin. Yeah. And her culture is inherent to uh, the story and the character itself. Um, as, a, as a woman of Vietnamese culture, mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about that? And were you able to also contribute some of your culture and your story into Anna's? I'll tell you, Vietnamese women, and you know, I know that women in general, you know, have this attribute and they're strong and they, I mean, they really have, truly like a strength and a fortitude that you just, you know, I've not seen in any other, <laughs> it's just women specifically for me. And, and especially being raised by an Asian mom, an immigrant mother is um, that example was, was daily. Right. So uh, Vietnamese women to be able to portray a Vietnamese woman on screen with strength was so exciting and full circle because that is what they are. I mean, you don't mess with a Vietnamese woman. I wouldn't, um, I certainly wouldn't. And, um, and to be able to draw from why they're so strong. I mean, th th this is a country where the people have been through more than they've ever needed to. And their strength is really rooted in, in something very real and in defense of their homeland and always has been. And there's a real, real core strength to them that people don't really understand who've grown up comfortable, you know, maybe in a Western country who've always had everything that they've needed. I don't think they really get like what people are like when they come from that background. And so um, Anna is, she's a Vietnamese woman. Like she really is. She came from the darkness. She's a Lotus, right? You know, she's, she's, she came from the mud, from the dark waters and, and she turned into a beautiful flower that's really rooted in mud. And, and that's her. And that's to me, Asian women in general, Vietnamese, especially, because I mean, that's what I grew up with seeing. I really love, uh, love seeing that as well. Um, because you don't see that that much, not just in action movies, but in movies in general, where, yeah. you know, Asians are allowed to play their specific cultures, their specific races up. Um, the other thing that I noticed and I loved about this is uh, there is an Asian uh, woman stereotype in a lot of these movies yes. um, where you end up being this this either, uh, I believe the term is the the tiger, or um, sorry, the tiger queen. Anyways, you're either this remote dragon queen, dragon oh, lady. Dragon, um, dragon lady. Dragon, dragon lady. Yes. Okay. <laughs> dragon lady. Um, I love that we both don't know. <laughs> Thank you for covering me for that one. Please. Uh, so so uh, there's the stereotype of the dragon lady where you're an emotionless uh, Asian right. cold calculating killer. And you avoid that completely here uh, because, you know, Anna has feelings and Anna has remorse and Anna cracks jokes and Anna's this, this right. whole character. Right, um, how do you right. feel about the movie just completely avoiding that and actually right. really spearheading and taking the lead um, in, in changing the role of, of mm -hmm. what an Asian woman is in an action movie? Right, like right, it's really purposed, right? Like her, and and I and I really credit Richard Wang for the, the the writer, for really writing a dynamic character that's not some trope that you know he's pulling out of you know 
different movies he's seen and 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 throwing it back on on a, on a new page right because it's really just the same characters over and over right and 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 that's the best word i can use really the dynamicism that she's able to express because isn't everyone sort of like funny at times and tough at times and weak at times isn't that everyone yeah. and why when we like pigeonhole like a minority character does it have to be well you know this is a it's an asian woman so she's largely unfeeling i mean that doesn't it doesn't even make any sense to me that's not even human yeah. right so you're basically writing someone who's not human yeah <laughs> right very robotic um but i think that it it's in this film in particular and then again i give credit to the writing is that it's in her weakness that you really understand where where her strength lies and 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 how hard earned that strength actually is. I mean, you saw the film, like she doesn't even wanna go back to where she's, she wanted to completely deny who she was and where she came from because it was too painful, yep. right? And so that's really where the, the strength comes from. And when she goes back, she goes back because of someone she loves. Right. Again, it's not even about her. It's mm -hmm. about, I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna make this right. Yeah. And in, in doing the right thing, she has to confront her past. And that's really painful. I, I love that actually about it because it shows that she's a fully fleshed out person, you right. know, and, and right. one with real emotions, um, which is cool. very much lacking in that trope uh, these days. Big time. So um, the other thing that I wanted to comment on, your chemistry with Michael. Oh, off great. The charts. Oh, great. Off the charts. That awesome. <laughs> um, how, that, that tit for tat with you guys just kind of talking during dinner. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. don't see that kind of quick-witted dialogue between no. people uh, that much these days. No. Um, what was it like working with him and how did you guys build up that electric chemistry? First of all, thank you for just having your eyes open and seeing things that we really like cared so much about. Mm -hmm. And I was really just talking about like, they don't write those longer scenes in movies anymore. You know, they just they just don't. They don't take the time for you to be able to be on um, a journey that sort of undulates like in one conversation. They just they just don't. Like they why can't we have arcs within scenes, right? And these are two two people very high intelligence who are playing this game and um, they're constantly outwitting each other, but not because they're trying to, but because they can. You know, and and I don't think that either have been up against anyone like this um, in their lives. And um, that, I think, is what really sparks that thing, because I know that the people that I in my life that I've been most attracted to, I mean, they, I even 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 in like something very separate, like even women, like there are women who are super beautiful and you go, oh, what a beautiful woman. And then there's other women who are like, oh, she's really beautiful and really interesting right that's why he says that word in the bookshop like you're interesting to me i find you interesting he says because he cannot figure out what it is about her that's attracting him to her and it's not he's like yeah okay yeah it's not your looks that's not it there's something else about you that's tripping me up and i don't know what that is and that's never happened to him and the funny thing about rembrandt is that he's very honest he's super upfront like there's nothing that he feels that he doesn't say so he's just like, wow, you've really caught me off guard and I don't know why, what the hell's going on, you know? And she's like, okay, typical male stuff. And he's like, no, I really mean it. You don't know who I am. I don't know why you're affecting me. Yeah, and I caught that and I loved it. Um, my, I wish we had more time. I do have one final question, sure, which is, course. do you think we'll ever get to see Anna in Protégé too? I think if you call all your family members <laughs> and their family members and their in-laws and their friends, and we get butts and seats on this, we will absolutely do that. Well, I'm rooting for it and I'm going to do that because I want to see Anna again. Okay. That's oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I really thank appreciate you. it. This was really great. Thank you so much for your time. It has been really great. And I can't thank you enough for yeah. everything that you've done for uh, people of Asian descent and, and women of color as well. So Aww. thank you so much. Well, oh, you're the best. Let's do it in person next time. A absolutely. Cool. Sounds cool. good. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. You too.